gentlemen, it's 9 in the morning. We still have time. Uh, I'm still downloading Call of Duty. Actually, oh, almost done. There you go. And let's watch this real quick. So there's two parts of this. To 21 million views. I don't even know this YouTube channel, but they seem to do great. So let's check this out. I fucking, I'm so interested in the Fermi Paradox. It's such a cool topic. I could talk about it forever. It's amazing. Living things in the entire universe. Should I watch Vikings on Netflix? Yes, but stop when Ragnar Lofbrok dies. Stop. The observable the universe is about 90 billion light years in diameter. There are at least 100 billion galaxies, each with 100 to 1,000 billion stars. So you have to ask yourself, there has to be life out there, right? It has to be. Recently, we've learned that planets are very common too. And there are probably trillions and trillions of habitable planets in the universe, so which man. means there should be lots of opportunity for life. <laughs> Magnetilo. <laughs> I used to have this guy as a Pokemon card. Life to develop and exist, right? But where is it? Shouldn't the universe be teeming with spaceships? Let's take a step back. Yeah. The scariest thing ever, though, is this is the scariest shit ever. There is one approach to the Fermi Paradox that says, yes, there is a lot of races out there, very intelligent, but no race in the existence of the universe has ever found a way to overcome light speed. You know, you can only be 300,000 kilometers per second. Uh, over that, you get infinite mass and it's impossible in physics. And if no one has ever overcome that, that means that the distances in the universe are too big to reach anyone, you know? And if that's true, that would be so sad. That means no matter how long you evolve a race, no one will ever overcome this issue, man. Even if there are alien civilizations in other galaxies, there's no way we'll ever know about them. Basically, everything outside of our direct galactic neighborhood, the so-called local group, is pretty much out of our reach forever because of the expansion of the universe. Is this is so... What? Hey, do you imagine that? So this is the local group, right? Uh, Milky Way, Andromeda, and two more. I don't know. Whatever. This is our local galaxy group. And he says... I don't know if it's true, but... We will never ever the existence of this race reach the rest because the universe is expanding and the, ex the rate that this is leaving us is too quick for us to ever catch up. I mean, we don't know, right? We're fucking humans in 2020. We don't know what happens in a thousand years and 2000 years. But if that's real, that is that is so scary, man. Group, the scariest possibility is that every single race ultimately always destroys itself is pretty much out of our region forever because of the expansion the of the universe. Kind of cube in a way. Even if we had really fast spaceships, it would literally take billions of years to reach these yep. places. That is so scary. Traveling through the emptiest areas in the universe. That is so so scary. let's focus on the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our home galaxy. It consists of up to 400 billion stars. That's a lot of stars, roughly 10,000 for... Man, so sorry if I always pause. Every time I watch videos like this, I get sad because when young Tommy left the army, 19 years old, I had the opportunity to go to university. And I've always wanted to study astrophysics and astronomy, like all that astro shit in Berlin. But I was too scared because I knew there's so much mathematics in that field and I will just fuck up. I'm too bad at physics and mathematics. Makes me sad sometimes. Every grain of sand I think it was a good decision. I was too there dumb for mathematics There are about 20 physics. billion sun-like stars in the Milky Way and estimates suggest that a fifth of them have an Earth-sized planet in its habitable yeah, zone. Man, astrophysics the area is like cool with conditions Earth, that man. enable life to exist. If only 0.1% of those planets harbored life, there would be 1 million planets with life in the Milky Way. But wait, there's more. Even on a 0.1% chance of inhabitable planets, there's still a million planets with life in the in the in just the Milky Way. The Milky Way is about 13 billion years old. In the beginning, it would not have been a good place for life because things exploded a lot. But after 1 to 2 billion years, the first habitable planets were born. One might be too high Earth though. is only 4 no, billion maybe years old, so there have this probably been high. trillions of chances for life to develop on other planets in the past. If only a single one of them had developed into a space-traveling super-civilization, we would have noticed by now. What would such a civilization look like? The I always feel this is obviously just romanticizing. I always felt the future of every bi biological race is to become sentient. Is, is to, uh, what I'm, I'm, it's becoming a machine. Imagine the human race makes itself... This is just very polemic, you know makes itself into cyborgs, into machines. Once 
machines are the overlords and organic stuff doesn't matter anymore like dying and all that shit and diseases all that stuff is gone you have infinite time to travel if you are a machine you don't care if it takes one million years to reach a different planet you don't give a shit you're a fucking machine you know there are three categories i always feel like a machine type one civilization evolution. would be able to access the whole energy available on its planet in case you're wondering we're currently around 0 0.73 of scale about the scale and we should it. reach type one sometime in the next couple of hundred Every years theory... type two would be a good. civilization capable of harnessing all of the energy of its home star this would require some serious science fiction but it is doable in principle Concepts like the Dyson Sphere, a giant Dyson complex so surrounding the sun, would be conceivable. Type 3 is a civilization that basically controls its whole galaxy and its energy. An alien race this advanced would probably be godlike to us. But why should we be able to see such an alien civilization? Like, imagine aliens would literally visit us and be like, hey, what's up? So many humans would go crazy, right? Uh, look, look at Corona. There's a little virus and people are already fucking... Imagine aliens would land. And be, hey, what's up? Let's start relations with each other. Millions of people will lose their minds, suicide, they will start praying to them. And that 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 is another proof of the zoo theory that why would aliens visit us? We're way too dumb still. The human race is still so civilization in the first place. If we were to build generation spaceships that could sustain There would literally be people like, don't make deals with them, they're the devil. Imagine you're a high-level alien. Why would you visit this shitty planet? Population for around 1,000 years, we could colonize the whole galaxy in 2 million years. Sounds like a long time, but remember, the Milky Way well, you is and me huge. Guys, we will never know. So if That's it hilarious. takes a couple of million years to colonize the entire galaxy, and there are possibly millions, if not billions, of planets that this sustain life in hilarious. the Milky Way, and these other life forms have had considerably more time than we've had, then where are all the aliens? That's this what I just said. is the Fermi That's paradox. The paradox, and nobody has an answer to it. After all these facts, where are they? Why do they not show themselves to us? But all we do have some true. ideas. Let's talk about filters. Filter. A filter in this context represents a barrier that is really hard for life to overcome. They come in various degrees of scary. One, there are great filters, and we have passed them. Maybe it is way harder for complex life to develop than we think, the process yeah. allowing life to begin hasn't yet been completely figured out and the conditions required may be really complicated maybe in the past the universe was way more hot i'm gonna pause sorry i don't care so that's that that is scary what if actually that uh, what there's a word for that someone in chat is educated when life comes out of nothing there's a word for that and scientists try to um think and what, what I read that they think right now that the, the, the primordial soup, there was a lot of lightning strikes. And the energy of the lightning strikes make the fir first molecule to split or something. Um, what if it's true? Biogenesis. Biogenesis, yeah. What if biogenesis is actually super, 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 super rare, man? Well, then there's not a lot of people out there, you know? And if that's the case, if it's so rare, we are the luckiest fucking fuckers of all times, man. Hostile, and only recently have things cooled down to make complex life possible. This would also mean that we may be unique, or at least one of the first, if not the first, civilization in the entire universe. Boy, imagine that. Imagine we're the first. How sad would that be? Oh, this is blowing my mind, dude. Two, there are great filters, and they are ahead of us. This one would be really, really bad. Maybe life on our level exists everywhere in the universe, but it gets destroyed. Sure, right, a planet and a race always has to overcome big hardships. Right now, our generation is the climate change generation. Boy, when it reaches a certain point, Great a point of that life. lies ahead of us. Final For example, filter. awesome future technology exists, but when activated, it destroys the planet. The that's last a, words of funny. every advanced civilization would be, this new device will solve all of our problems once I push this button. What if if we this is true, race? then we are <laughs> closer to the end. Like in millions of years, there's an alien finding this room and there's my corpse like, oh, who's this guy? Let's scan him, man. He's just a fucking ear playing with four all day, man. I think he's our god. ...than the beginning of human existence. Or maybe there is an ancient type 3 civilization. Can you imagine, that... this is blowing my mind. I'm so fucking into this shit. Dude, listen to this. One... At the current perception of life of a human, one day, one day, very far away, there will be the final human. There will be the final human being to ever exist. That will happen one day. 
that he, that individual is gonna exist one day. Imagine being him. That is that that blows the human brain, right? In two weeks, <laughs> that blows the brain, bro. That is so crazy. That's so many years away, right? That's that's unimaginably far away. Dude, imagine being the, the last monitors human. the universe, and once a civilization is advanced enough, it gets eliminated in an instant. Maybe there is something out there that it would be better not to discover. There is. There's a great movie on that, one of my favorite movies with Jodie Foster called Contact, uh, where they talk about these questions. Uh, and they have a very good theory there that that I never forget that in the ending of Contact, she says something that I'll never forget. There's this little child, uh, sh uh, and it says, but what if aliens want to kill us? We shouldn't find them. And Jodie Foster says, aliens killing us would be an equal of us going into the forest and destroying an ant uh, colony. We don't get anything from it. It's just dumb, you know? Why? There is no way for us to like, know. Once you reach the level of space travel, you, you don't have these emotions anymore of killing stuff, man. You know? One final thought. Maybe we're alone. I don't alone. believe in this, this right killing. now, we evil, have no alien. evidence that there's Bullshit. any life besides us. Nothing. The universe you guys will watch contact, man. empty and so dead. Good. No one sending us messages. No one answering our calls. We may be completely alone. Trapped on a so tiny crazy, moist man. mud ball in an eternal universe. Does that thought scare you? If it does, you're having the correct emotional reaction. If we let life on this planet die, perhaps there will be no life left in the universe. Life will be gone, maybe forever. If this is the case, we just have to venture to the stars. But that, that, that's where it gets religious. That wouldn't make any sense. Why would something or someone trigger the Big Bang just for an empty universe? That makes no sense. Dude, in the end, watching all of this, it seems like the one true religion the one true answer to everything is that life itself is a simulation where where someone is simulating can this race on this empty planet in an empty universe make it or can it not? You know? You know what I'm talking you know what I mean? This, this is not even that fucking weird, you know? What if life is a simulation to check if the human race can make it? There even is this theory that that there's many theories. I, I read so much about this. The universe is made by humans. It's an infinite loop. You have the human race, and the human race grows, has to overcome hardships, blah, blah, blah. And in millions of years, the human race reaches a point where it knows a device that has enough energy to make another Big Bang and make a new universe. And you have this infinite loop of new universes, blah, blah, blah. And the human race has to always overcome itself and make the next universe and shit, you know? Simulation theory is cringe. <laughs> You're cringe. You're the fuck you. Why are you VIP? Ridiculous. To become the first and whatever. And here's the thing. Here's here's the thing. Sorry, I'm going off on this shit. Whatever is the truth. Whatever is the truth. One thing is certain. 99.99% certain. If you're not nihilistic, you and me, we have a duty. We have a duty to God, to the universe, all these theories. We have to keep this race and this planet alive. We have to make sure we overcome climate change. We have to make sure we don't start a nuclear war. We have to make sure we don't throw our cigarette out of the car and the plastic in the fucking ground, man. That is our fucking duty, man. And that's easy. I believe in that shit, man. Even though you and me were just small little things on this planet, we have a duty, man. Global warming is real, and we should overcome this filter. I believe in it. Type 3 civilization to keep the delicate flame of life existing and to spread it until the nice universe streamer. breathes its final breath and vanishes into oblivion. The universe is too beautiful not to be experienced by someone. Like imagine in trillions of years, there's like the grand historian. He, there's this one guy who makes the whole history of the universe. And he's like, yeah, there was this human race. They did kind of well, but they were too dumb to handle global warming. Uh, they died. How fucking... Sad would that be that we failed on that filter because we're too fucking dumb. That will be you. This video was made man. possible by your support. God damn, this this is where Tommy goes crazy, man. This shit is fucking blowing my mind. Here's part two. There are probably Wait, this is just a new video he did. The great filter. You guys wanna keep watching this? Designer baby. Dude, this I never saw this YouTube channel. He's doing amazing, man. Blue whales cannot get cancer. What? Why will aliens be the end of us? I always thought that War of the Worlds uh, did a very good take on that because they will bring certain bacteria and diseases to us, you know? It's like when Columbus went to South America, they uh, to America, or the Spanish went to South America and they brought their bacteria with them and everybody fucking died. 
Imagine Very NASA scary. announced today. Like actually, the first thing you have to do when aliens land is to, to put them to quarantine, right? You have to put them. Imagine to NASA them. announced today that they found aliens. Bacteria on Mars. Weird alien fish in the oceans of Europa. And also, ancient alien ruins on Titan. Wouldn't that be Imagine great? We'll find ruins, well, man. No. Oh. It would be but imagine one day you turn on Twitter and it's like, yeah, they found fucking ruins on Titan. What? Shabala, Alter. I mean, the, the Americans will be like, Jesus walked on Titan. Oh, oh, my God. Horrible news. Devastating, even. It could mean that the end of humanity is almost certain and that it might be coming soon. Why? Why would the most exciting the news of aliens will make a lot of people mad, that's for be sure. Bad? Do they have oil on Titan? You American, huh? This is a great YouTube channel. I never knew Let this. Let us imagine the development of life from its inception to us today as a flight of stairs. The first step is dead chemistry that needs to assemble itself into self-replicating patterns. That's something that I will never understand. My brain isn't too good. How can you... How can you... Um, English. Describe. How can you... Um, um, I don't know the English word. That life comes out of nothing. I read about that. There's like a big article in Wikipedia about that. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show it. Uh, biogenesis. This is the craft, uh, this is the science of how uh, life is made. Biogenesis is the production of a new living organism. Conceptually, biogenesis is sometimes attributed to Louis Pasteur, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and there's like uh, theories. Oh, this is a very small one. How it happened. And what I read was that. Um, Lightning strikes were hitting the water, and that was the first ever a molecule got split. The first split ever. And then, Stable and resilient, when you're but very, very able lucky. to change and evolve. You know. The second step is for our early life to become more. Com yes, I want to show that, comrade. I want to show something. Dude, again, Contact is my favorite movie. Uh, 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 Contact. What is that scene? Contact. Um. Uh. Uh. The scene with the people where they riot and shit. No, no, no. I fucking love this movie, man. The scene where I want to show that to you guys, because that's what I think would really happen. What what would I look for? The 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 what's the scene when they drive to the telescope and all the people are in front and they're they're acting crazy? What will I look there? Um, the contact pe people people scene. I, I don't know. So here we go. This is so genius. I fucking love this movie. So this movie is, wants to make a realistic approach that we found aliens. Um, like, realistic. So let's watch this. Because it shows something that's really real. So they're like, hey, we found aliens. Calling the message from Vega one of the most stunning insights into our attendance at religious services has risen a dramatic 39 percent in recent and now the movie has a take of how humans will react clashed with neo-nazi protesters so it turns out there's life on other planets boy this is really going to change the Miss Universe contest don't you think I mean gee we're gonna have to <laughs> that's actually from a good one the world are concerned that the did you just hear that did you guys just hear that that sounded like a bomb went off. Jeez, did you hear that? They got it on. Fucking terrorists everywhere. I mean, why would someone bomb my fucking hood, man? There's nothing going on here. Message Contact established. Vegas Aliens. A rash of mass suicides, not yeah, mass suicide. Cults are killing each other themselves. I admit that there are some pretty serious religious overtones to all this. Let's hear from someone whose organization has been accused of conducting its own inquisition in recent days. Richard Rank, head of the Conservative wow, Coalition. Lou, is Thank you. Nice. This is so interesting. Thank you, Penguin. Of science intruding into matters of faith. Now they will have a set of this places to table for politics. They have well. been reacting to TV signals they got from us in the 1930s. They're just getting them. The Imagine how disappointed That's the thing, right? This, this movie suggests that the first thing aliens ever get from us is Hitler. Because the first ever uh, waves have been sent out into the universe was um, Hitler's TV uh, thing for the Olympics, right? That was the first time someone was doing TV waves. So the first thing ever leaving this planet was Adolf Hitler on the Olympics, man. They're going to turn out to be if, if they're Cubs fans. I mean, we now take you to Jeremy Wall, who is reporting on events at the very large. One sec, the the real shit happens in a second. I think what are you? Like a bolt from the blue, it came. This is so real. Being called the message from Vega has caused thousands of believers and non-believers to descend upon the VLA facility here in the remote. And they're all crazy, man. 
Many have and this is such protest. proof that Many you should not contact humans yet. Most have come to participate in what has become the best show in town. Ah! Look, everybody goes mad about the aliens, man. Like a bunch of fucking idiots. Well, I saw the thing coming out of the... And looking at Corona, this is very realistic. It had one long horn and a one big eye. I commenced to shake it and I said, who we? Looks like a purple people leader to me. You guys have to watch this movie, I swear to God, man. You for abduction insurance. This lady is listening. <laughs> the Indians going ham. No illegal aliens. Hitler lives on Vegas. <laughs> the fucking Nazis. <laughs> Hitler lives on Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, the reason I'm showing this is, I think this is very realistic. Humans would go fucking mad. And the hot religious fuckers. Now these scientists have had their chance. Are these the kind of people that you want talking to your God for you? So real, right? This is so real, man. Fucking love that scene, man. Thank you, Penguin, for fucking 10 gifted subs, brother. Thank you so much, man. Stop the count. Thank you, man. Will the aliens be the end of religion? No, people would do. Humans are not that far, man. And I think you, thank you so much for the 10. That last part is scary real. Yeah, it is so real, right? It is so real. Look at Corona, man. There's a little virus that we can totally analyze and we know what it is. All you have to do is wear a mask and fucking millions of people are like, oh, take away my rights. Imagine aliens will come. We will go mad, dude. The human race will go mad. And that is such a beautiful proof why would aliens do this? I always say this. I know it's weird. I, know, I love to do this, though. Imagine you and me. You and me, for one second, let's roleplay that we are high intelligent aliens. We have no emotion. We, we are not dumb. We don't believe in religion. We are hardcore science aliens. We are, we are just very clever, you know? We are on the next level. And... I, I said this my whole life. This is like my religion, man. This is, I swear to God, this is like my religion. Oh, he, Tommy goes crazy. So, our alien overlord sends you and me, a very intelligent alien race. I know it's hard for non subs to imagine that. To Earth. And he says, please, I want you to look at planet Earth and the humans for a thousand years. And then you tell me if they should be contacted, if they should be part of the intergalactical community. So, you and me were going here. What do we see? What the fuck do we see? Huh? Let's take a little look. What's going on? So, okay, we're checking out the human race. What's 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 going on on the human race? Okay, what what is that? What is in the... Wait, where's the news? Doesn't it have news? Paris Hilton and Britney Spears. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Corona, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, what else is in the news? Uh, what's going on on planet Earth? Uh, recount, uh-huh. Giuliani, uh-huh. What, what? Donald Trump, uh-huh. Do you go home to your overlord and say yes? Yes, we should talk to these humans. Pussy. You fucking don't. Aliens would that, think in a weird a way, dangerous species. Yeah, thank you, Kingpin. Thank you for the five. And uh, this is this is gonna sound very weird now, but uh, it's what I believe in. And since I became an intelligent human being, like when I was eighteen or nineteen, before that you're just a child that wants to jerk off the whole time. Look, back in the day, there was Christians who had a wristband that said, "What will Jesus do?" And I'm walking through life. What will the aliens do? Sounds weird. I always imagine with every decision I make in life, and I fail often, you know, I fail often. What will a really hardcore intelligent alien think about my action here? Is this very um, uncivilized and dumb? Or, you know, because if you, if the human race with every decision will think like this, what will intelligent aliens think? We will improve our race. We will make more good decisions. Oh, should I blow myself up in fucking Vienna? Oh, maybe I should, man. Should I fucking uh, eat too much and become obese? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. You know, this is, this sounds weird. 
But in a weird way, this is kind of my religion. What would intelligence technocratic aliens think of my actions? And what can I do to please them more? Is that weird? You know what I mean? It's not a religion, it's just like a little moral guide, you know? You can switch that. You know, what will Jesus do? Uh, I want to be a Nietzsche Übermensch or, or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of freeze, freeze, no facts. You're an idiot. I'm just talking about this is a moral guide. What are you talking about? Facts, man. You know what I mean? That's exactly my religion, too. You know, it's not, it doesn't matter if it's, it's like with God and religion. It doesn't matter if Allah or God is real. It gives you this moral guide. Hey, I go through life no, thinking, hey, I have to do good shit, you know? You know? Why is the definition of aliens always intellectual and civilized? Because if they have to, because here we go, people always say, what if they're evil? What if they're different? What if they are have their own religion? I believe, and that's what a lot of humans don't get yet, and I'm intelligent enough to get. <laughs> if you have the means of space travel, you went through so much shit that you're on a whole new level. You don't, you don't believe in bullshit religion anymore and stuff. You know, religion just puts you down technologically and shit, you know? No, I, you know what I mean? If you have the means of space travel, I think you are, you don't blow yourself up, you don't fucking go to churches, you don't fucking want to kill people, you know, you're on a whole new level. What do I think? Anyway, let's watch this, sorry. Complex, I like the able first to build of the more complicated yeah, structures easy. and use the available energy much more efficiently. On the next step, these cells combine to become multicellular beings, enabling you can think what you want about what I just said, but this is how I think about life. Obviously, I do it wrong often, like eating chocolate. You know, that's not very clever, you know. But it's it's a moral guide in the end. You actually just described the Nietzschean concept of the Superman. In a way, yes, I'm a, a big fan. A big fan. Where is he? Where is my boy? Eh? Where did I put it? Huh? Eh? Wait, what? Where the fuck is my Nietzsche book? Shit, man. Well, my Nietzsche book is gone. Um, I always thought Nietzsche is a bit cringe and Nietzsche shouldn't be taken too serious. But obviously that concept that he came up with, with the Ubermensch has has touched me my whole life, man, and I think it's it's great. It's, it gets abused a lot by the wrong stuff. When you talk about Nietzsche and the Ubermensch, people already think uh, fascism and and and, uh, and and racism and all that shit, which is not true. In its pure form, Nietzsche's uh, Ubermensch theory is just that the human is a rope between animal and uberhuman, and we should all make decisions and actions in our life that lead to the next evolutionary level of... Of a, of a stoic superhuman in a way I always was very interested in my dad and it, it kind of is something that influenced me in life a lot I think some people in chat feel the same but yeah it's obviously not easy it's a weird man the philosophical step above sees man. the species evolve big brains enabling the use of tools culture and shared knowledge which creates even higher complexity the species can now become the dominant life form on its planet and change it according to its needs. As we do. First, shy attempts to leave its planet are happening. She, two days ago, this SpaceX is where was we are now. Doing that again. It's in the nature of life as we know it to reach out, to cover every niche it can. And since planets have a limited carrying capacity and lifespan, if a species wants to survive, it will look for more places to spread to. So the steps above the current ones seem logical colonize Europe. I mean, why do we always think time is limited? What if someday, just a theory, a race finds a way to refuel a sun? You know, what if you find a way to make a sun immortal or some shit? So the system, then spread further to reach other stars. And what if one day a race finds a way to stop the expansion of the universe, man? Then you have infinite time. Uh. To the possible final step, becoming a galaxy-wide uh, civilization. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very likely that this is a universal principle for civilizations, no matter where they're from. If That's a species is... The thing though, one thing we have to all understand is our perception right now as humans in 2020 is, is, is so limited. I never forget the epic scene from Malcolm in the Middle where Dewey says, uh, where he questions God. An ant cannot think like a chimpanzee, a chimpanzee cannot think like a human, and a human cannot think about like the next level. You know, we our perception is very limited, right? 
we we don't see things that people will see in a thousand years you know two thousand years ago you think they would think about microphones and monitors and me talking to someone on the other end of the world no in two thousand years which is nothing in the universe people will have such a different perception than you and me have there's it's just competitive and things in the shadow that we can't see yet planet, we have to always realize that we know that there are up to 500 billion planets in the Milky Way, at least 10 billion Earth-like planets. Many have been around billions of years longer than Earth. But we're observing zero galactic civilizations. Caesar wants a streamer. We should be able to see something, but there's nothing. Then you got banned. Space seems to be empty and dead. This means something is preventing living things from climbing the staircase beyond the, the step filter. we're on right now something that makes becoming a galactic civilization extremely hard maybe impossible this is the great what filter, if it's impossible a challenge or danger ever. so hard to overcome that it eliminates almost every species that this is a very cool uh, again you have to realize chat this is all theories i'm not saying this is facts like somebody said you're not presenting any facts this is just theory philosophy philosophy someone says what if aliens found their own religion that let them become more advanced because it united them all? Yeah, very good theory, man. Imagine Jesus comes down or Allah and says, hey, I'm real. And everybody, okay, I get it. I will pray to you. Let's all unite. I think that's too easy, though. It will never happen, you know, because all religions are wrong. There are two scenarios. One means we are incredibly what if we are the special galactic and lucky. Of the, Truman Show? the other one means we <laughs> are doomed <laughs> and Truman Show, man. One of the best dead. movies of all time. It depends on where the filter is on our staircase. Behind or ahead of us? Well, the Scenario one, the filter is behind us. We are the first. Oh, that's, the that's, that's scary, man. If the filter, if we are the, only, the first ones to ever overcome the primordial soup, and we're the only intelligent race in the... In the oh, is behind fuck. us. That means that one of the steps we passed is almost impossible to take. That is so scary. Which step could it be? Is life itself extremely rare? It's very hard to make predictions about how likely it is for life to emerge from dead things. There is no consensus. Some scientists think it develops everywhere where the conditions are right. Others think that Earth might be the only living place in the universe. Oh, what a big question, eh? Another candidate is the step of complex animal cells. A very specific thing happened on this step, and as far as we know, it happened exactly once. A primitive hunter cell swallowed another cell. But instead of devouring it, the two cells formed a union. The bigger cell provided shelter, took care of interacting with the environment and providing resources, while the smaller one used its new home this and free stuff shit, to man. focus on providing a lot of extra energy for its The mitochondrion is the power plant of the cell. Host. With the abundant energy, Only the whole cell could school, grow man. more than before and build new and expensive things to improve itself, while the guest became the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> These cells make up every animal on the planet. Maybe there are billions of bacteria-covered planets in the Milky Way, but not a single one apart from us has achieved our level of complexity. Very likely, or man. It's mind-blowing. We humans feel very smart and sophisticated with our crossword puzzles and romantic novels, but a big brain is, first and foremost, a very expensive evolutionary investment. Very expensive, yeah. They are fragile. They don't help in a fist fight with a bear. They cost enormous amounts of energy. And despite them, it took modern humans 200,000 years to get from sharp sticks to civilization. Being smart to is not where you get to win automatically. Maybe you have to overcome so much shit. So great. And God, this guy is scaring me, man. What if it's actually super unlikely to get to our level, man? It worked out for us. Jeez. Scenario two: the filter is ahead of us. Plenty of others died already. A great filter before us is orders of magnitude more dangerous than anything we encountered so far. Even if a major disaster killed most of us or threw us back thousands of years, we would survive and recover. And if we can recover, even if it takes a million years, then it's not a great filter, but just a roadblock to an eventual galactic civilization. On universal timescales, even millions of years are just the blink of an eye. Yeah. If a great filter really lies before us, it has to be so dangerous. Yes, that blows my mind, shoot off. Dude, this is mind blowing as fuck. Imagine dinosaurs wouldn't have been extinct. Imagine dinosaurs would not have gone extinct. The most intelligent animal during that time 
maybe was the Velociraptor. It was already communication and it would have a team fight tactics and shit, you know. We will be fucking lizard people now. We will be dinosaurs. Imagine, imagine you give Velociraptors 500 million years of evolution. That is so fucking... So purely what? devastating and powerful that it has destroyed most, if not all, advanced civilizations in our galaxy over billions of years. A really daunting and depressing hypothesis is that once a species takes control over its planet, it's already on the path to self-destruction. That looks very human, yeah. Is a good way to achieve that's what that. all the uh, leaders but it needs are lizard to be people. Something that's so obvious that virtually everybody discovers it, and so dangerous that its discovery leads all. I just, I, I'm not presenting any facts, whatever. I just, I'm a very curious guy. I have a curious brain. I would love to see a simulation or whatever. I would like, hey God, can you give it to me? What would the world look like if the dinosaurs would had never gone extinct? That must be mind blowing, man. That must fucking destroy you, bro. Seeing that universally to an existential disaster, a large-scale nuclear war, nanotechnology that gets out of control, genetic engineering of the perfect superbug, an experiment that lights the whole atmosphere China. on fire. It might be a super-intelligent AI that accidentally or purposely destroys its creators. Skynet, bro. Or things that we can't even see coming right now. Or it's way simpler. Species competitive enough to take over their planet necessarily destroyed God, while... <laughs> God put dino bones on Earth to test your faith. <laughs> and people really believe that shit, though. Maybe there are runaway chain... The game Mass Effect had a theory that once civilization mastered this effect of mass universe will collapse. Since some precursor alien race have created the Reapers to stop civilizations from doing that. The actions in every ecosystem that once set in motion are not fixable. And so once a I mean, also, what if, you know, back in the day when I was a dumb kid, I was into conspiracy theories. And there's this theory that the that the pyramids were done by aliens, you know, because uh, when the pyramids were weighed, there wasn't copper uh, tools yet. So how is that possible? What if aliens know we this is also this is this is this makes sense. It's, it's not wrong. What if aliens already look at us all the time and sometimes they help us out a bit, but they're like, what waiting? Are, are they going to get to the next level soon? That's the zoo theory, yeah. Civilization is powerful enough to change the composition of its atmosphere. Let's they play make some their wild planet brain uninhabitable 100% of the time. The wood. Let's hope that that's not the case. <laughs> if the filter is ahead of us, our odds are really bad. Yep. What we can hope for. This is why finding life beyond Earth would be horrible. The more common life is in the universe, and the more advanced and complex it is, is the more likely it becomes that a filter is in front of us. Bacteria would be bad, small animals would be worse, intelligent life would be alarming. Ruins of ancient alien civilizations would be horrible. The best case... So that's so interesting. I'm, I'm pausing. I don't give a shit. So, if in the next thousands of years we only find small animals of bacteria that are... That are uh, after us, that is very bad and horrifying because that would mean and help the theory that we are the most intelligent race in the universe. Case scenario like it's actually right bad now is that Mars is to find that bacteria and small animals are devoid of life, and the vast arms of the Milky Way harbor only empty oceans hugging dead continents. That there are billions of empty planets waiting to be discovered. It just gave us Corona to, to unify us. Yeah, Corona is unifying us billions so well, right? Of new homes waiting for us. To finally arrive. Have to pee, guys. For those of you, for some reason, right. how likely is it that we'll find life outside of Earth that is similar to us? Well, that depends on how many planets there are out there in their star's Goldilocks zone, the area around a star where water can be liquid. Because stars come in all sizes and configurations, this zone is different. For I have so much respect for the people that do this as a job, man, and do all these equations for me, last man. These if are the that sounds heroes. like fun to you, this quiz from Brilliant helps to break down the maths for exactly how this is calculated. And now we're done. Okay, guys, I'm going to pee, then we're going to watch this, and then we're warming up with some World of Warcraft, man. Losing all... Actually, I've, I'm going to lose so many viewers if I play World of Warcraft. But I don't think I don't give a shit. I don't just want to react to videos all day. I don't know. We have to talk what we do, man. I, I, I want to play a little bit of World of Warcraft. Uh, who's donating? Pre-Crucial aliens are all trapped in their version of the VR chat. God, this game makes me want to fucking play, um... 
This game makes me want to fucking play Stellaris. Anyway, I'm gonna people quick. I also have to make breakfast, actually. That's ah, too early for breakfast. I could eat a banana. I'm gonna people quick, okay? One sec, boys. Twenty-four hours, my ass, bro. Because I'm a little bit surprised I already have 900 viewers, man. It's fucking 10 in the morning. What are you guys doing? Let me put on the heater. Okay. Because I kind of want to actually play some World of Warcraft, man. So what's this? Or not obsessed with the Fermi paradox. Enrico Fermi posed the following. <coughs> same guy with the nuclear reactor in Chicago and all that. Posed the following question. If there are alien worlds as you might claim, since there are billions of stars in, in billions of galaxies, you would expect billions of planets, and then you'd expect Thank you, Grios. millions Thank you, man. Earth -like, of Earth-like planets. Where, why have Actually, I also feel like I want to start high already, because getting all the achievements is going to and take hours answer, and hours and hours. not that complicated. We've I said World of Warcraft lost 100 viewers, so I can just play it. For 50 years, 70 years, depends, depends how you count. And... You have to acknowledge that civilizations have to emerge and be able to communicate. With I don't same. need to watch this. We, we already talked about the Fermi Paradox and everything. Okay, gentlemen. So that was the one hour 30 warm-up reacting to videos. We can react to more videos later. I mean, we have all day, man. We have all day.